How's it going everybody and or anybody? It's Christian with Made Time for Fishing. I'm out on Shem Creek once again doing some more sheep's head fishing. I really feel like I got addicted to it that first trip out last time. Uh, it was just so fun. It's like a reaction time sport <laughs> plus fishing. You also have the challenge of staying right in the right place with the current, especially on a kayak. Um, it's cold today. It's about 45 degrees right now. I'm all bundled up, got like two sweatshirts on, got my uh, gloves. <laughs> Got uh, some heavy like hiking boots on to try to keep my feet dry and warm. Uh, sweatpants are the whole nine yards. Gonna see what I can do. I got more fiddlers. So this is how many I started with last time for reference. You have about three and a half hours until low tide. Really with sheep's head you want moving water so that's kind of the main thing I'm looking for here. But anyway, let's get after it and uh, wish me luck. Bye. All right, first stop. First drop. Oh, they're there. Wow. That didn't take very long. one of the day. Just a little guy that somehow got hooked in the face. He's not big enough to measure but uh only took me five minutes to get my first one. Keeper. That looks like a good one. Uh, he's a little bit smaller than I thought when I first got him in. Let me take a look. Oh, it's only 13. Never mind. False alarm, guys. But it was a good fish. Only plenty of room to go up. Alright, I did very well very quickly when I was running out of bait last time right under the water. So I'm hopeful that by coming here when I still have more bait, maybe I'll be able to make something else happen. He isn't big, but he's not bad. nice to see them. So the knocker rig does work. Uh, not sure yet if I can say whether it works better or worse than a Carolina rig. But what I can say is more people definitely use the Carolina rig. More people with a, you know, better keep set experience than me, which doesn't mean a lot. This one feels big. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, that's what we call a keeper right there. <laughs> there we go. He's definitely going in the cooler. 15. Nice. You know, the sun's kind of behind me. I hope you guys can see it okay. Let's try that same thing again. Just dropped it right next to this pole. That one's big. I don't know if this is a sheep head, it's fighting really hard. But it hit like, I think it's a big sheep. Come on, come on. Oh, it's a big, it's a big red fish. <laughs> 
that makes sense. Dang. I thought I had a huge, huge sheep head. The big red fish though. Hopefully it doesn't totally blow up my spot. Uh, this is a big red. Surprised he didn't break me off. Not a bad guy, he might be overslot. He's very close if he's not. Uh, really pretty picturesque redfish right there. Fun fact, if you didn't know, redfish, sheep's head, black drum, they're all in the drum family, so they're all related. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, that guy's definitely overslot. He's like a 20, he's a 27. What was I thinking? Still a tiny piece on there. Maybe that'll somehow get bit. Yep. Oh, that's a good one too. hard for his size. It's about probably 12. Oh, really hard though. Alright. Wow. Well, that's all my fiddlers. Um, I caught a lot of sheep's head. A uh, few bigger ones than last time. Only the one keeper again. It's only been like two hours and I already went through all my bait. So I'm gonna switch to lures, so stay tuned. So I tied on the Bel Air jig, swim bait jig uh, in white with a, I think it's a sexy shad, five inch paddlers from Z-Man. And uh, yeah, just kind of see if I can find anybody here. the same dock I was just fishing. slammed that swim bait. Oh, this fish is so pretty. Let's see how long he is. 15 and a half. Um, I think I'm gonna throw him in the cooler. I haven't kept a trout in a while, so. Already had a good day, have a sheep's head and a trout in the cooler. Uh, so I'm going home with dinner and then some. Uh, but yeah, I don't wanna stay out here for too long. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really like fishing with the fiddlers. I just wish it was a bait I could catch more easily myself. So if you guys have any tips on how to catch them easily, I would really appreciate it. Um, it's a little annoying 
uh, spending you know eight or ten bucks on bait that only lasts you a couple hours of fishing it'd be nice to be able to catch my own and just catch as much as i want or need but anyway thank you guys again for watching and uh remember to make some time for fishing bye have a good day